Sarah, numerous times over the past week, we of course have showed you this beautiful memorial outside the Bristol Police Department, but sometime soon, it will be gone. But there is a tranquil spot in Meriden about which you spoke briefly where folks can continue to memorialize these officers for years to come. Several members of the Bristol Police Department watched intently as their friends and colleagues were memorialized today. Whenever there's an officer or a trooper or anything to do with law enforcement, if they die on duty, I put their names on. Etched in the Connecticut Law Enforcement Memorial Stone, coordinated by the Police Association of Connecticut. In this situation, I felt it necessary to have the names put on the wall as soon as possible. I want the Bristol Police Department, if they're here at the academy training, I want them to have a place to go to that's not maybe a cemetery. The names of Bristol Police Lieutenant Dustin DeMonte and Sergeant Alex Hamsey were the 149th and 150th names to be added to this 37-year-old memorial. It's held up great. And unfortunately, we have to add two more names today, and, and we hope that this is the last two. I don't charge for this. I can't. His gratis work, a tip of the cap from this stone worker who says he spends most every day working in cemeteries. I do this for a living, but this is special to me. The public, especially including the families of cops killed in the line of duty, are welcome to visit the memorial every day at the Connecticut Police Academy in Meriden. For them to be able to come up here, see their loved one's name, um, it, I just hope it gives them a sense of peace and closure. When I can do something like this, uh, it's pretty cool. To keep the law enforcement memorial beautiful as it is and for years to come, of course, they rely on donations from the public. And if you are so inclined, we've got a link for you at fox61.com and on our free Fox 61 News app, which is very easy to download from your favorite app store. We're live here in Bristol. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.